Hey, hey everyone, Happy Dude here, and thank you for clicking on this video. So you guys asked for it, so here it is, a new battery testing video. We have the Duracell rechargeable 2500 AA batteries, these are brand new. And then we have the Antelope rechargeable batteries, these are uh, six or seven years old now. Then we have the new Lithium Ultra Varta batteries, brand new, and the Energizer Lithium batteries, also brand new. And then the same batteries, but five years old. That's to see if they have um, the same amount of power, because these batteries can be stored 20 years. It, it says so on the package. And then we have the uh, normal Duracell Alkaline Optimum batteries because um, Duracell doesn't make any lithium batteries. All right, let's begin the test. Okay, let's start with the antelopes. So let's see how much voltage they still got. Uh, remember, they are six or seven years old, but freshly charged. This one, 1.39 volts and this one 1.389 so almost exactly the same so to test out the batteries i've made this we have our compartment for two aa batteries two times 1.5 volt is 3 volt then it goes to this little switch and then it all goes to these four motors and I've also wanted to use this LED strip, but then I remembered this only works uh, between 9 and 12 volt, so don't mind that. So instead, I've put this little uh, LED here that should work on 3 volt. So let's start our test with our normal Duracell Alkaline Optimum batteries. Okay, let's check the voltage. 1.733 and 1.713 okay and this time i'm gonna put this clock here so you can see exactly how long they will run okay let's put the battery in okay and three two one go Now you can barely see it, but the LED is actually on, uh, but not much. Probably because uh, the motors are drawing so much power. Okay, only one engine is still turning. And yeah, it's done. So that was one hour and four minutes for the Duracell Optimum. Okay, and now we are going to try the rechargeable batteries. But first I want to see just how much voltage is still in there and also the temperature. 30 degrees Celsius. Oh, this one is 60 degrees Celsius. And the voltage is now... 1.262 and 1.266 and now it's time for the antelopes so remember these are six or seven years old but freshly recharged and they have 1.44 volts and this one also 1.44 wow exactly the same Okay, let's put them in there. Okay, and three, two, one, go. And this time the LED shines even less. And the last engine is coming to a stop 
right now. So the antelope did one hour and 23 minutes. That's weird. That's longer than the Duracell Optimum batteries. And the temperature is 28.7 and 44.7 degrees Celsius. And the voltage now is one volt, one volt, okay. And now it's time for the Duracell rechargeable battery. And the voltage is 1.4 and 1.4. So about the same as the antelope. And three, two, one, go. All right, and the Duracell rechargeable batteries are coming to an end right now. Okay, that was a very impressive one hour and 53 minutes. So that was it for the rechargeable batteries. Oh dear, they are very hot. 42. And how much voltage is still left in them? <laughs> it's exactly one volt. 0 0.9. Okay. And now it's time for the lithium batteries from Energizer. So how much voltage do they have now? Mm. 1.826, that's the highest so far. Yeah, okay. All right, let's fire those lithiums up. And three, two, one, go. Okay, this is very weird. You can hear that the RPM is very low and I do some checkups with the voltage uh, every 20 minutes and you can see here that it dropped below one volt and with the other batteries, the engines would uh, stop but here they just keep on going. It's like the, the uh, lithium batteries don't know how to quit but they don't actually have any more power left because when I touch them even gently you see stopped 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 and the other one stopped on its own uh, you you could fire them back up by just spinning them again but I think uh, the, the power is really left the battery so I'm going to call it quit and that is well, a very long time. So that was two hours and five minutes for the Energizer lithium batteries. All right, let's take them out. Ooh, that's hot. Oh my, 61 degrees. <laughs> 71 degrees Celsius. Okay, the lithiums are now cooled down, so let's see just how much uh, juice is still left in there. Huh, 1.44. 1.435, okay. Now, I didn't film it, but I did test the old Energizer batteries when I was uh, making this contraption to make sure uh, it worked. And the runtime was about the same as the new Energizer batteries. And now it's time for the new Lithium Ultra batteries from Varta. And the voltage is 1.842. Mm. 
1.831 so about the same as the energizer all right let's test them out so when i said let's fire those lithiums up that was literally the case all right time to test out the vartas three two one go oh the engines are a bit slow I think they're almost worn out. Weird because the temperature on the engines itself uh, never goes above 30 degrees Celsius. See? Well, oh, 31. 30. See? That's weird. Oh well, it's uh, the final test. And every 20 minutes. I put some light pressure on the axle to see if the battery still has power enough to let the RPM rise on its own. Uh oh, one engine is starting to lock up, so I'm going to hit pause. And I'm going to replace that. Luckily, I have still one spare. Okay, <clears throat> fixed. Now, let's continue the test. Okay. Okay, let's do a quick checkup. Okay, everything seems normal. No more weird noises, so we can resume our test. Okay, let's check it out. Only one motor left. Yeah, it's done. So that's also about two hours and five minutes because I had to stop the test to change out the uh, electric motor. All right, let's check out the temperature. 56 degrees Celsius and 60. So it's a bit cooler than the energizer. And the voltage is 1.16. one point zero nine okay okay now that the test is over and the batteries are cooled down the voltage has changed again so for the normal duracell it's 1.4 now 1.1 1 .1 for the rechargeable antelope 1.1 1 .1 for the rechargeable duracell and 1.4 for the lithium energizer and 1.25 for the Varta. So once the rechargeable batteries are empty, they stay empty, but the normal batteries and lithiums, uh, the voltage does rise again once they are cooled down. But when you run them again, it won't be long before they are empty again. Okay, so my conclusion is that I am a bit disappointed in the Duracell Optimum batteries. Um, they should perform better, but they didn't do any better than an old analog rechargeable battery. But you can buy these very cheap now. So yeah, the analog was um, actually very good. It's It performs for about the same as they were new. I am very impressed with the Duracell rechargeable batteries. And well, the big winner is of course the lithium batteries, but these aren't rechargeable. Um, but with, which one is the best? Um, I think that the Energizer is still the best because the RPM of the motors was more consistent with that one. 
uh, but the Varta batteries are a tiny bit cheaper. What's your conclusion? Please put it in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe and you all have a nice day now. Bye!